So Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is projected to still be the worst opening for a saga film. Okay, we're not including spin-offs, okay? The worst opening for a Star Wars movie, okay? A saga movie, okay? It's not a spin-off, like so, okay? This movie is already underperforming. This movie is already underperforming, okay? Already underperforming because they're expecting it to, you know, all oh, this trilogy trends, you know, it's gonna make more money than the last set. It's gonna make 140, 240 million dollars. Yeah, that's the original projections for the movie. Therefore, by their logic, it's underperforming. They're expected to do similar or better than the last set. But it's doing worse. It's doing worse than the last set. It's doing worse. No matter how many amount of paid reviews by Disney. And I need to be to put up the user scores on those sites, you know, and say for Google users, but that can be you say, oh, it's so echo to cite the movie, but you know, part the Disney bots putting the same like two, the same wording, same reviews to make it look, oh, it's not really suspicious, it's just people saying it's good, you know. And look at the audience rating somewhere, it's 3.6. So Star Wars the Wire, it's basically the same as Captain, it's the same whole thing of Captain Marvel all over again. I only be as you all know is a bar for paid post site by Disney. You know, look at the last side, look at the Captain Marvel, look at all Disney movies. Even Dumbo, even like Dumbo, for example, has a, you know, it, for the exception of Dumbo, or well, I think the reason why they changed the score, like even Dumbo. Everywhere else, it has a 50 to 60, the 50 percent, 2 percent on tomatoes, you know, it has a, um, Free four out of town mad quick by the user score, but only I am to be is the one that was protecting Disney. And obviously Disney must have came out knocking out Rotten Tomatoes score those site and said, Oh my god, you must give our movies good reviews by the audience or else. Okay? We don't care what the critics say about our movies, but if the audience doesn't say good things about our movies, like an IMDB, you know, as well, I won't be surprised if events that come from Mad Quick as well. Doing all negative reviews about Disney movies, you know, I, all, all negative reviews about Disney movies and all that stuff, that doesn't work. The movie's still underperforming! Toy Story 4 still underperformed. The only Disney movie that didn't really underperform was the Lion King remake, Aladdin, which were two garbage remakes, and Frozen 2. <clears throat> and that was because it was the because Disney put a monopoly of screens when that movie came out. There was no other movies that came out that weekend. Okay, no other movies. Okay, you know, <clears throat> you know, no other movies that came out on that weekend. Okay. So what do the box office gurus think about box the opening for Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker? It is projected to earn one ninety million dollars. That's still less than two hundred million. Okay, you know you're saying, "Oh my God!" Usually, sequel trilogy, you know, the end of the saga, should be, you know, you know, be at the highest of the opening. It's like the end game of Star Wars. Okay, you know, and of course, you know, it's not historic. There's nothing historic about kissing Star Wars. It's nothing historic. Okay, so I'll tell you about how it's not historic for like a few seconds. This is not historic. Goodbye. I'm not gonna make a whole fifteen minute video about it. 193 million, still less than 200 million dollars, still less than 200 million dollars, this movie is disappointing everybody, okay, besides, you know, the, the Disney bar, the Disney, you know, people who will buy anything with Disney's logo on it, the people, you know, who will buy Lion King remake, those are the same people who are probably buying Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, people who will buy the Lion King remake, that brand awful piece of crap movie, okay, and you look at the numbers, okay, you know, it's project. you know, actually it is track, it is in the track, tracking, <laughs> it actually is not on the performance, it's actually doing in this, you know, tracking, industry expects, but still not 200 million. It was those trade sections were over 200 million. You know, Star Wars is just not gonna do well at the, it's not gonna do, you know, it's actually still, it's still an amazing opening, but there's another movie that came out, let's look at Batman v Superman, okay. This is another movie that had a historic opening. It had, you know, historic sales, okay? Historic records, okay? This movie was projected to be a record breaking movie, okay? A record breaking movie, of course, I has be as it's, you know, selling for. You know, it, had a, it was supposed to be a record breaking movie. It was supposed to be a big, big opening for DC. And that's what probably led to the worsening of the DCEU <clears throat> because this movie didn't do too well. So they, worked out, they wanted to have the events as well with success. You know, they can't admit that these movies are actually bad, you know, just as, you know, right, you know Batman vs. Superman and Soul Society are not really, those three goes actually okay, they're good at points, but 
you know, these movies are not, are not, you know, Marvel quality, okay? They're not Marvel quality. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being biased towards Marvel, but they feel like they're worst out, okay? That's what Star Disney Star Wars is. That's the best comparison, okay? And let's look at the, let's look at, you know, the, let's look at the box office with Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman, despite opening the historic numbers, historic box office numbers. Historic box office numbers. They always say it's historic. Historic, you know, it's great for the movie industry. This is Batman v Superman's rakes. Oh, oh, this is Batman v Superman. Okay, Batman v Superman. This could be Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, but slightly higher. Okay, slightly higher. Of course, it has the the Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker does have the holidays on its side, so it probably won't grow around four hundred million dollars. But expect it to have a massive drop. Expect it to have a big, big drop on our second weekend. Okay, expect it to have a similar drop, or even bigger than Batman v Superman. Okay, <clears throat> bigger drop, probably than uh, just as big as a drop as Batman v Superman. The last day was also at a 61% drop, and expect this movie to continue on dropping. Okay, continue on dropping at the box office. Okay, continue. Okay, the why is the Skywalker? Is already underperforming. It's already underperforming. And does this bad if Superman has proven in the past? High boxers openings does not guarantee a billion dollars set unless it goes always ghost like six hundred to seven hundred million dollars. Well so why the Skywalker is already not doing too well internationally as well. The movie's already doing poorly, not doing too well in China, it's bombing in China, okay. And you know, people are saying, Oh, Star Wars is becoming more popular and you know, Aza, okay? No, no, it isn't. It isn't, okay? It's not gonna go the same as the last era. It's not gonna gross $450 million, okay? It's gonna have the lowest opening of the Star Wars trilogy. It's gonna have an opening similar to Batman vs. Superman, okay? If we get Batman vs. Superman, biggest, because Batman vs. Superman was on the biggest worldwide openings, okay? Batman vs. Superman, okay? Star Wars Rise of Skywalker could do similar to Batman vs. Superman, okay? Biggest worldwide opening. And here are the biggest world gross world openings. Here we go! Batman vs. Superman! A movie that had a massive opening and still couldn't top a billion dollars. Still couldn't beat that billion dollar mark. And it remains the only movie and like the top besides Spider-Man 3. And Spider-Man 3 are the only movies in the top 15 to never top a billion dollars. Never top a billion dollars, okay? Spider-Man 3 is another example, okay? Spider-Man 3 had a massive opening. It had a massive opening, okay? It had a massive drop-off like Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman, the rest not going to open to the rest that it's going to open similar right at number 10. Knocking out Fast and the Furious, or possibly be all Fast and the Furious 7, okay? It's gonna open at number two, two possibly even, or not even the top 13, buy at 14, okay? And Rogue One is in all the way down here, Rogue One is all the way down here, okay? Rogue One, all the way down here, it's not gonna open to Rogue One's numbers, okay? You know, or Justice League is another example, had a massive opening, did top a billion dollars. All the Twilight movies, then top a billion dollars, despite having massive worldwide openings, as well, okay. So, do people say, Oh, it's still gonna go up in 400 million dollars? It's still gonna go a billion dollars, you know. If it actually does go a billion dollars, then you, then you guys are right, okay. But at this point, if it does poorly like Batman vs. Superman, okay, it's awful like this movie, okay. Batman vs. Superman opened with a similar as opening with a, um, you know, open to 400 million. Batman vs. Superman, it opened with 400 million, it did, and it bombed, it bombed, it's, it's, it bombed, you know, Disney's incredible years off, obviously, all oh, no, Disney rigged it so they can win the box office, the probably will get next year, wouldn't be surprised if Buon makes a billion dollars, because Disney rigs it to make so goes to a billion dollars, okay, and they saying that Star Wars is, you know, it's not a guaranteed billion dollar, okay, we have to look at the second week, and, okay, Yahoo, you have to wait until the second weekend comes out, okay? Second weekend, okay? Bombs in China. It's not the only Hollywood movies. It's also, you know, Endgame as well. And all MCU movies did as well, okay? 
You know, they at least Joker inside. They will, that movie will have made a lot of money inside. Oh, either Bell Angel made it's gonna make more money than the Wise of Skywalker. The Wise of Skywalker will be beaten by Alita Bell Angel in China. That's just the, that's just the funny thing, okay? And saying, oh, it could be the biggest Star Wars movie. It's gonna gross 1.5 billion. It's not gonna gross 1.5 billion dollars worldwide, okay? That is guaranteed that's not gonna happen, okay? It's, it's only gonna open worse. It's only gonna open worse than The Last Jedi. So 1.5 billion dollars is not gonna happen with Star Wars The Wise of Skywalker. It's just not gonna happen, okay? Not gonna happen, okay? Not gonna happen, okay? And we had movies have great worldwide openings and still gross billion dollars. Joker goes to one million dollars, two point five million dollars, still had great legs, still gross billion dollars. Okay, you know, Star Wars is gonna continue, continue to not do well. Okay, continue to do worse and worse with each movie. Okay, see, here you go, four hundred fifty million dollars worldwide. It's gonna gross four hundred fifty million dollars worldwide. You you wrong, four million. It's, you know, what, as it goes, it's $190 million domestically, and one ninety one. Uh, you know, Star Wars movies always do worse internationally, so $180 million internationally, so that's $380 million, $380 million, okay, there, here you go, it's gonna be worse than Spider-Man 3, it's not even top 15, highest grossing movies, okay, probably top 15, probably not even top 15, and this is the end of the, the Skywalker saga, the end of the last Sky Skywalker saga should be grossing endgame levels, okay, I, I'm not saying the truth here, it should be grossing higher than The Force Awakens. It should be higher than Infinity War and Endgame. Mm, probably not Endgame, but it should be at least higher than Infinity War. But it's not, but they'll even surveying if it could it will pass the last side it's opening. They're still debating it will pass the last side it's opening. They're still debating among the media. Okay. Okay. Still debating among the media. And even if it does well, we'll get Batman vs. Superman. It could do as poorly as Batman vs Superman. I know it has the holidays, so it probably will go a billion dollars because Batman vs Superman didn't have the holidays at all. Go to make money on, okay? And you know, Disney of course does rig the movies so the movies could go a billion dollars. We all know they do, okay? That's the Disney, you know all the biggest movie brands all owned by Disney. The only ones that are not owned by Disney is Fast at this point are Fast and the Furious and Jurassic Park, and probably some Chinese movies, okay? And all of the Chinese movies, okay? The only ones that are not owned by Disney at this point, okay? And that's basically it. Goodbye.